Hello, welcome to Rider's Rain Crochet. Today we're doing this lion zoo animal. Um, if you uh, have not made the body, you need to go back to part one. Um, part one has the hands, the feet, and the body. All 11 of these videos um, of the zoo animals have um, the exact same body. So all we do is the extras here, here, and here. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'll have that link at the bottom. I'll also have the link to the Etsy um, pattern, which is a crochet pattern goods. And I'll put that link as well if you'd like to have the hard uh, copy of it. So let's get started with, how about we do our ears? I'm just using some uh, scrap yarn here, so um, it's not going to necessarily match what you think the color would be. I didn't want anybody getting crazy on me. All right, magic ring. Six inside. Here we go. There's our locking. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Center up. And then all we're going to do is go around and we're going to increase around two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, so sometimes what happens is that first one gets so tight that you can't like get into it. So just make another single crochet to make up your six and then skip that one. Don't fight it. No use. It'll hide flat down in there. So that already is pretty much covered this up. Um, so now instead of going into this one here, which is our tight one, um, let me see if that's a little better. Um, go ahead and skip that one and we'll just go around and we'll start in this stitch with our increases, okay? No use fighting it, it's all gonna hide in there. And that's six stitches, so at the halfway point. Here we go, and 11 and 12. So instead of a slip stitching this to the front to make a complete circle, it'll be easier for you to crochet um, your ears on, or sew your ears on, I guess, depending on how you're doing it. Um, if we just chain one and go ahead and cut our yarn. Um, what this is gonna do is this will give us a little bit of, of a flat, flatness here. And we can, when we sew it on, we can curl it in like this so that it is all, this, I'm so sorry, this pink is just so terrible. But anyway, and then you can sew it on that way. So you need to make two of these ears. For this red inside here, um, all I did was some of my acrylic paint um, and splashed it in there a little bit. Okay, so, and then we can go to our um, mouth. Um, this one is um, also super easy. So for the, the mouth, for this part here, um, I went ahead and used a plastic nose. If you've seen any of my other ones, um, everything's just a little different. I did the eyes a little different, um, testing things out, um, and just you know getting different ideas, having a different look. Okay, we are on our nose. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to increase. We're just gonna go all the way around and increase. So it is exactly the same as your two ears. So I'm not gonna sit here and do that because you, you guys are already doing this. So um, 
But when you do the nose, make sure you do slip stitch to the front, uh, to the first stitch, so it's perfectly round here for you to, to put on. Kiddo, yeah, rocking and rolling. That's what we're doing. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and move to these pants. Um, the pants pattern that I'm gonna show you is for the suspender pants. But I got, went ahead and decided to, to change it up. And it kind of looks like he's wearing a little Speedo. If It's kind of funny. So when you see that, go ahead and just um, do the last round without chaining and skipping any stitches. Just do one more round of single crochets. Um, but I'm get, my video is going to show the original with the straps so that you have that as well. Okay, and back. Here we are. We're going to do the mane that goes around um, your lion's head. We're going to chain 48. And then we're going to make a circle of the 48. And I will meet you right back here. Okay, we're back. So um, the pattern actually wants you to slip stitch to the front and do this all in a circle. I do not want to do that. You guys are more than welcome to do that. I would rather sew it in the back. The reason why I bring that up is because if for some reason you were doing the body on a different day than the accessories, you may be crocheting tighter or looser. And I don't want you to do the whole product and then realize it doesn't go all the way around your lion's head. This way, we'll just have one piece and then we will connect the pieces here in the back and nobody will see. But at least you won't do all the work and go to go like, you know, to put it on and then, dang it, there we go, um, too short. Or it, it could actually be too long. The nice part if it's too long is you can overlap that a little bit or pull out some of these bigger stitches and just have a tail that is, um, that is not used because you could tuck that in. Uh, I know this is actually extremely hard to see right now. I apologize, it's one black on black. Um, but then that way we can just, you can take out this um, pattern here of the double crochets that are in here and be able to get, um, just have a piece of the end of your whatever stitches. And like I said, you can sew that in over here or tuck it in or whatever. This is just a, is a safety measure um, before you do a bunch of work and then realize that it doesn't fit your lion and that is just not gonna make anybody happy at all. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna slip stitch two stitches. That's one. Slip stitch, that's two. We're gonna do two double crochet increases. So there's a double crochet, another double crochet in the same stitch, that's one increase. Double crochet, double crochet, that's a second increase. And we are going to repeat this all the way to the end of the round. If once you get here close to the end, you want to go ahead and just check it um, on your lion. Now that you've got that way, you can check it with your chain. The problem is sometimes people chain tight, but crochet looser or chain loose and crochet tight and everything squeezes back up. So by doing it this way, this is an average number. This is the, the number it should be if everything was correct in the world, but it isn't. Um, and this, like I said, this way, if you have to, you know what's really gonna fit or not fit. You don't want it to be loose um, or bubbly. So now we're gonna do two slip stitches. Whoop, almost single crocheted. Two double crochet increases. Okay, that's one. That's two, and slip stitch. I'll do it one more time with you guys. So we did our two slip stitches. Nope, we did one slip stitch, two slip stitches. Now we're gonna go ahead and do 
two double crochet increases. So there's our one, and that is two. And then two slip stitches in between all of your um, double crochets, two slip stitches. And then you're gonna do this around. It's gonna make a nice little circle because we're increasing so much. I'm not gonna finish this thing all the way off. You guys are gonna be able to finish it. And then all I did was um, I just placed it where I wanted it and I pinned it and I went, I just went through and crocheted that or sewn that on to um, the crochet so that it, uh, it would be on there really well. Okay, well, let's get to the pants. And on to our little pants. So we're gonna go and start with a chain 12. Chain 11, I'm sorry about that, 11, chain 11. We're going to attach, I just go to the front um, of the first chain and do a slip stitch through. We chain one, and now we just make sure that our good part of the stitch is facing us. And we're gonna go around, starting in the hole we came out of, and we are going to do 11 single crochets. We are gonna do that two times. I will meet you back here when you are done with, I don't know, make you guys wait on me here, um, done with both rows of 11 stitches. Okay, now that we're back, um, what you're gonna do when you finish those two rows, slip stitch and weave in all your ends. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a second pant leg exactly the same way. Do not cut your yarn. We're gonna do um, chain of 11 and two rows of 11 single crochets. And then we will meet back when you're finished to connect these two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just get into a stitch like so, and we're gonna do our first single crochet on that new stitch. Or not. Okay, so now we're gonna take and connect to the other leg. Make sure that our single crochets or our chains are at the bottom. And we're just gonna go ahead and single crochet right to the other leg here. And then we're gonna end up doing um, 22 single crochets. But the best bet here is um, you can place a stitch marker in here. For some reason, like every other time I get this count right. So it's better just to count 11 on one foot and 11 on another and we'll increase or decrease or whatever we need to do um, when we get to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, that's wonderful, that worked out. <laughs> Let's go back on this side here. And we can count backwards to save us problems if we want, um, or just, we can just get in here and make it up. So that's, will work just the same. So we'll start with one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that looks great to me. Eleven, here we go. We did not, if you can see, to finish on that eleven, we did not use this stitch here. But this is where our stitch marker is, should be under this one. So when we start our next round, just skip this one, and we're going to go into this one with the stitch marker. So we'll finish this off, and then we're gonna do another round 
of 22 single crochets. Again, for me, I need to skip this stitch. And we're just gonna go all the way around now and our count should be at 22 because we just counted it. So let's go ahead and make it around real quick. And then we're going to create our straps. Um, if you're doing any of the other tutorials, this dress, we don't really have to plan ahead because you can spin a dress, it doesn't make a difference. But when you have pant legs, there is something that um, you don't want those straps to be crooked. Your, your outfit is too little, it's not gonna fit on your, on your amigurumi. So it's best just to get it right from the get-go. And we will show you how to do that just a one second. All right, so we are back where we had started. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to single crochet. I think this is my starting. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to single crochet four. You don't need this. I don't need this in here, actually. So let's do this. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, now if for some reason you had to make any kind of changes, um, this you may not be landing right here. We are going to end up chaining five and skipping three, which is the strap. So when you look at this, this is where your chain would go off on. Where do you want your chain would come off? This right here where we're at right now, which is this one, and is going to go over to this one. And now you can see your three and go, oh, no, that's okay. But if it's off a little bit, then go ahead and take a stitch out or add a stitch. Don't, don't mess it up. It's, it's too little to just be able to go like this and go, you know what? That's the three I want to skip is one, two, three, and I'll come back in there and um, get yourself set up. So like I mentioned, we're going to chain five. And we're going to skip three, one, two, three. And now we're going to single crochet eight. That is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. Okay, that is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Chain five. Skip three. One, two, three. Single crochet. And then your best bet is just single crochet till the beginning again. Some, some of you guys may have four stitches, two stitches. I've had all sorts of different stitches counts when I've done this, like my 20th time or 25th time at this by this point I guess um, and just finish off that round go ahead and cut your yarn and weave in your end and here's your little cutie jumpsuit pretty cute it fits very snug too it should fit very snug all right next Okay, you should have your lion all put together by now. If not, you got work to do still, don't you? Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today um, at Ride is Rain Crochet. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, if you like the project, um, check out the other 10 zoo animal videos so you can make all of the different little animals. Thanks again. And please like, share, and subscribe.